Mm. 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 I don't know about you guys, but I love smash food. And this, it's amazing. Well, why I finish this? It's about this week's topic, which means Arsenal 2. So, I'm gonna finish this, and then we're gonna dive into it. Sorry. So this week's topic is about the Arsenal version 2. Now this little device is supposed to be a AI camera assistant. You can hook up to your DSLR or your mirrorless camera. And this is to auto enhance your photos. It's got features of doing panoramic photos. It helps with your nighttime photos if you want to have a little bit more crisp and a little bit better. It has a color enhancement. It's got many, many features to it. So the question is, does the Arsenal 2 actually work? Can it enhance your photos and make you a better photographer? And is it worth it for the price? And before we get into that, let me give you some more information about the Arsenal of where it came from and how it all started. So the Arsenal 2 and the software is actually developed by a photographer named Ryan Stout. And he created this AI device to help improve his own photography and then later introduced it in a Kickstarter project. With the fast acknowledgement and all the positive reviews, he gained over 21,000 backers and made up to $4 million into actually developing this tool to help photographers actually be better at what they do. All right, so now that we know exactly where this device came from, who developed it, let's think about more about exactly what the device is. So this is gonna be your AI camera brain. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take this right here, you plug the wire in, you're gonna connect it to your camera. Once you do that, this is actually gonna take over and help enhance exactly what you're doing with your photos. It's got multiple features, which also includes the color enhancing, it's gonna be the panoramic photos you could take, you can have the nighttime assistance, and there's many more features. So let's dive in exactly how you're gonna set this up and also show you exactly what you're gonna see when you're going through the phone app. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna connect the arsenal to your camera. Now this is gonna slide through the stream out on top of your camera. And once you have that secured, what you're gonna do is you're gonna actually sit here above the panel where you're actually be able to hook up the wire. So you're, it's gonna be like a PC remote. Now once you connect that, you're gonna turn on the arsenal and then you're good to go. Depending on your camera, you might have to go into the settings and make sure that you have your USB connection on PC remote. This is how the arsenal is going to help operate your camera. Once you open your arsenal app, be sure your Wi-Fi is on your phone. Click the Wi-Fi search until you see the device. Once you see that, hit connect. I usually have mine set on manual mode but act like it was actually more like a remote for the camera. But you can change it to the smart settings. What you do is click on smart, and on the left-hand side, click on the items. You're gonna see the all different settings you can set with the smart. Everything from your long exposure bracketing, your crowd control, to even to the point where you actually can set it for your time-lapse. Here you can actually adjust the time-lapse to show exactly what story you want to tell as you're doing your time lapse. All right, so now we know a little bit more about the Arsenal. We know who made it and the reason why. We know how it was funded and how it was created. We know how to set it up to our cameras as well as doing the application on the phone. Now, let's actually speak about the functions of the Arsenal, how this can actually benefit you as a photographer. All right, so the first feature I wanna talk about here, guys, 
It's how, it is a wireless camera remote control. With your cell phone, you're gonna be able to operate this thing. So it's not like you have to buy the different remotes for different cameras, especially if you're like me who shoots different brands. Like I shoot with the Sony camera, I shoot with the Nikon. This is gonna make it easier just to be able to do your changes all with just your smartphone. You're not carrying any extra remotes with you. You're not carrying different things where it's gonna clutter your camera bag. So that's one of the benefits of the arsenal. Now the second thing I wanna talk about is the nighttime photography assistant. Now, when I first started learning photography, I decided I wanted to do nighttime photography. Now, if anybody who shot nighttime photography before, you gotta realize it's completely opposite from what you normally learn. You have to have your exposure open longer. You have to have the aperture wide open and your ISO, you have to have it just right to be able to capture these images. Now the arsenal is gonna help you out with that. So you don't have to do too much of the thinking when it comes to taking those nighttime photos. All you need to do is set up what you want, make sure your arsenal is connected and just start clicking away. All right, so the next thing I wanna talk about is different photo stacking features. Now this can help you in multiple ways when it comes to taking photos. With your crowd control, let's just say you're in a busy area and you wanna make it look like the street is cleared, but you may have to have one person in the photo. But with that, what you do is you set that feature, it's gonna take photos at certain times, and it's gonna make it look like it's completely empty when it's done. And also with the photo stacking itself. This is great when you're doing macro shots. If you wanna get like a, like a flower, you need the whole entire thing looking crisp and clear. Photo stacking is a great way to actually get that crisp, clear image and not worry about the different focal points when it comes with your lens. Now also with the time-lapsing. The time-lapsing, you're getting some crisp, clear images and some wonderful footage when you're doing this. Now the benefit of the Arsenal is, is that it's gonna adjust itself from daytime to nighttime. So whether you're in a city, whether you're in your, your home area, or you're in the woods, or wherever you're at, you're gonna get high quality images each and every single time. Now guys, I took some photos I want you guys to see, as well as some footage with the arsenal. So you can get an idea of how this is gonna assist you when it comes to taking your images. Now, I'm gonna show you some with and without the system itself, so you understand the benefits of having an arsenal in your backpack. I hope this was able to help you guys make a decision whether you want to purchase an Arsenal 2 or not. Now for me, I do see it as a benefit. It's a great tool. It does assist you when it comes to taking your photos. It's something nice to have just to make sure you're prepared for any type of photo session you may have. But guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like what you see, please hit that like and subscribe button. Leave a comment. Let me know what you guys are thinking, all right? Until then, you guys be safe and I'll see you all in the next video. Till then, take care.